Hey, this is Mr. Field with Oxford Middle School. We're going to talk today about how to evaluate an expression if you were given the value of the variable or variables in that expression. These are problems 1 through 6 out of page 39 in your book, so you should be doing those problems along as we go. We're going to start with number 1. The expression is b plus 6, and you can see our directions here say evaluate each expression if a equals 5, b equals 12, and C equals 4, and I've color-coded those. All of our A's will be red, B's will be blue, and C's will be green. Number one, B plus 6. We know from our directions that B is 12. All you have to do is take 12 and put it in the place of B, like this. 12 plus 6. You're rewriting the expression, but instead of using the variable, you, see, you use the number that you know the variable is. 12 plus 6 is 18. And that's the answer to number one. Too easy. Number two, a minus three. I've made that red. We can see from the directions that a equals five. We just put five in the place of a. Five minus three. I might need my calculator for this. I might not, but five minus three is two. Too easy. Four. Number three, 20 minus c plus a. We've got two variables this time. It's no problem. They both have values that we've been given. 20 minus C. We know C is 4. We'll do that in green. Plus A. We know A is red, and that's 5. A is 5. 20 minus 4 plus 5. Looking at my order of operations, minus and plus, they come at the same time. It doesn't matter. 20 minus 4 is 16, and 16 plus 5 is 21. Don't worry if you can't do that mentally quite as fast as I can. You can take your time on that, but you still should come up with 21 as the correct answer. Number four, 18 minus 3c. 18 is the same. 3c, you remember from sixth grade, just means three times c. We know c is four, so we're going to write three times four. You can write this with the dot, you can write this with the parentheses, you can write this with the x sign, although we don't use that much in the algebra world. So 18 minus 3 times 4, I left us a little room because we have to do another step. 18 minus whatever 3 times 4 is. That's 12. 18 minus 12 is 6. You have to do the multiplication before you do the subtraction. That's just the order of operations that we use in the math world. Number 5. 2b over 8. We already said in the last one, 2b means 2 times b, just like 3 times c. So let's start with that. That would be 2 times 12. 2 times 12 over 8. Okay? Doing our order of operations, we do parentheses and grouping symbols, and the fraction bar is a grouping symbol. So we're going to do the top of our fraction first. 2 times 12, that's 24 the bottom stays the same. And you probably remember from sixth grade that 24 over 8, you just do 24 divided by 8, and that's 3. Last prop. 5a, remember that just means 5 times a. That doesn't mean 50a. It means 5 times a. Remember that a is 5, so we're going to go ahead and do 5 times 5 minus parentheses. And then we have b minus c. We know b is 12. C is 8. Okay? Remember in our order of operations, P stands for parentheses. That's first, so we do our parentheses first. 12 minus 4 is 8. 5 times 5 is 25. 25 minus 8 is easy. It's 17. That's how you evaluate an expression if you know the value of the variable. Too easy. Who will?